started, we were brave and, and courageous. Um, well, they defended deep. You need maybe the first goal to, to open it a bit and to gain the last percent of maybe freedom and confidence to, to have uh, follow-ups and goals and, and big chances. If you don't, if you don't score, you always like, uh, um, yeah, you always run a bit behind because you feel that you're you're the stronger team. You play in the opponent's half, so we had some two, three big chances that we should have maybe maybe used but uh, in general I'm, 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 I'm very happy because um, I like the way we played. Were you surprised by what you faced today as in their approach? No, no not at all but I was uh, happy like how we, we, I was happy with our um, aggression and with, uh, with the rhythm and the intensity we, we defended and, and with, with four in the, in the back and, and Tony and, and Thiago stepped out against uh, Bruno Fernandes, did not let them escape from their, from their own half. I was a bit surprised because we had so many many high ball recoveries that we did not make it from a, from from these ball wins to a bit of clearer chances but we were like consistently producing so so I hoped for the first goal but it came differently <laughs> just tell us what you were trying I don't know whether it was a search for space but you you, you sort of changed various little things during the game for example put Reese James out on the left at one point yeah. what were you striving for like where was the space well, there was like and then it was like uh, absolutely clear that they only play with two strikers and you don't need a back four or a back five for 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 two strikers to defend so we had a back three that was enough so we put Reese on the left side to have more offensive power than, than Marcos, who did not play for a long time. And uh, I felt him a bit like uh, tired and have more offensive power from there. Put uh, Hakim to him with a left foot and uh, they had a new right side with Mason and, and Christian Pulisic, bring new energy from the side and later with, with Romelu a bit more presence in the, in the, middle, of the, uh, in the middle of our attack. Could have worked out. It was a nice uh, piece of play in the very last minute between Hakim and a fantastic run of, of, of Christian, I think, and a good delivery. Would have been deserved, but okay, we have to live with it. Did you feel at any point this afternoon like you were facing a Ralph Ranić team? Like I know he wasn't in the dugout, but did you look at certain things and, and think this is no. this is Ranić? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but fine. No. Mm-hmm. How do you see it now at the top of the league? It's starting to look like a really exciting three-way race. Yeah, can, we cannot be surprised. Things like this happen. It happened now twice to us that we invest so much and, and we played such good games against Burnley and against uh, Man United and, and feel like a bit, uh, feel a bit disappointed because we think we, we did by far enough and, and, uh, and push the limits and, and push the standards to, to win these games. So, but over a, uh, over a long season, you you drop points and and you you, you dig in and 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 you 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 try to steal them back if somebody steals points from you. So this is what we do and and don't count the points. And when you are four up, one one down or whatever, it's we're in the middle of the race and this is where we want to be. And from from there we go. Thank you. Well done. That team, because you're never going to get they better. Play like that. It's only against the best teams they're going to play like. They get forced to play like that. But how do they improve if they if they keep? Well, that's down, it's got to be down to a coach. Mm. If you've got the same squad of players, and we're saying this squad of players potentially are as good as Chelsea's, it then has to be down to the coach. Uh, uh, if, to play that system and play that team was was the best they could do today. And if Chelsea had a couple of shots from from distance and they didn't create any chances and then you go, well, that's working. But it wasn't like that. We could no. be sitting here quite easily. De Gea's made a great save with his foot. He's tapped one on the bar. Mm. Rudiger at the end there. If, we're, if United have lost that game, we're sitting here going, my word, they can't play like that. And they've like, learned like, nothing. Exactly. So what I'm saying, they've got the point which they needed. The point was more important than the performance or the way they played. They needed a point at Chelsea. Now they've got a good run of fixtures where I think they're going to go, right, there's a platform now to go and let's let's improve it whoever the manager is <clears throat> but at this moment in time they were very very close i mean the first goal doesn't happen normally it's on a it's a, that's a schoolboy error from from Jorginho. they break away and they get themselves one nil up you know half time there's no way they'd have been sitting there thinking we're gonna go one nil up in this game the way we're playing they'd only had two touches in, in chelsea's penalty. box mm. in the first half and those touches are not Possessions, they're probably a flick off somebody's toe. That's, that was their performance up until half-time. They're now 1-0 up. They get the result, but they cannot play that way and expect to actually progress back to the United where they want to be. 
and it's going to take time, but it's, it's, I don't think United fans will stand for that against lesser teams. They won't. No, there's, there's no way they will. And that's, my point is that that's the way with this squad of players, that's the way they have to get points against the big teams. Mm. It's the only way they can do it. They can't go toe to toe with them. Now they'll go next week and they'll play well, against. Well, Thursday night is Arsenal, for instance. Yeah. So what, what would you do differently on Thursday to what we saw today? We'd play centre forward for a start. I think Cristiano will play. I think the two wide players will still probably play. Possibly play, play two of the midfield field players instead of three of them. So Fernandez comes in as well, instead of a Matic or, or, or Fred. And they've been more attacking. But Arsenal are nowhere near the quality of Chelsea. They're nowhere near the quality of Liverpool. They're nowhere near the quality of Manchester City. I, I think that's a terrible result today for Chelsea. I, I think it's a shocking result for them at home, going for the league against a United team who have been battered, really battered the last four or five weeks. I think it's a terrible result for Chelsea. It is, yeah. No, definitely. But if they're going for the chance for the, for, to win in the league, of course it is. But the way they played, I don't think Tuchel would be too upset about it. No. That cutting edge of getting people in the box, if Lukaku's a flying and he's fit, maybe he scores two tappings. They could have easily won that game, Chelsea. Easily won that game, playing not so great. You can't turn around and say United could have easily won that game. No way. It was by hook or by crook they were going to get a, a, a result. Look at, the, look at the goal that they did score. And if Rudiger puts that in at the last kick of the game, then that's fouled. Has that fouled? The way United went out to play? We're saying it, it, they've got their point. They've got their point. They're a little bit fortunate, in my opinion. But going forward, they have, they have got to get a template to play. With the players they've got, they should be playing. They should be closer to them top teams. They should be closer to Chelsea at this moment in time. We're talking, I know ali has gone, but we're talking three years down the line. And I don't see the progression that, that should have been there. Do you think the quality's in the squad, Glenn? I think that, look, they've got, look at the quality they've got in that squad. Players, just think about them. You know, I know there's a few injured, but if you've got Pogba, Fernandez, you've got Ronaldo, Cavani, my word, there's Sam. young talent as well coming through. Greenwood, Sancho, Greenwood. 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 Involved, my worry is we keep saying we, we think they've got the talent, we think they've got the squad to, to challenge. We've said that for. Probably six or seven months now. We, we said but they, they finished second last year. They finished second. I know. Yeah, it was, a, it was a funny league last year, wasn't it, with COVID and stuff. But yeah, of, of mm. course they finished second. They got to Europa League final. Probably not where they want to be, and they failed to win it. But my worry is, we keep saying we think we've got a squad to challenge, and it's okay saying it. They've got to go out and prove it. Yeah. A lot of these players have not won a thing. The Cristiano's won, mm. Cavani's won, I'm sure. PSG, Varane's won. The rest of them, the young players especially. They, don't even look, they, have, they haven't got close to winning. They've still got to prove that for me. But, uh, but I think that if you're going to play in a, in, a, in a more expansive way, a way that Manchester United are going to play in the future, this is what we're going to play in the future. So the new manager is going to come in and he's going to have his ideas. Right, now this is it. It might fail in certain ways and then we can bring someone in and things like that. How can these players that you've, you've all just reeled off, they are world class. They're some unbelievably talented players. But if you're, if you're Cristiano Ronaldo, or if you're yeah. someone playing up front today, and you've got a back four that full-backs don't move, mm -hmm. you've got three sitter midfield, and then you go and say to Ronaldo or, or Fernando, oh, go on, go and do your stuff. Yeah. Hang on a minute, there's three of us up here. You know, we're not, we're not built to attack. When, so you're almost just buying brilliant players, putting them in positions, and then say, go and... You, you, this you, if anything, you've got to be it. giving them the ball, That's play even need, more attack, and that's your strength. A four horse race. Conte. Model. Conte. Yeah. Conte. <laughs> yeah. Conte. Conte. Yeah, I think yeah. it'll be a four I horse so. race this year. In fact, we all thought before that yeah. everyone was yeah, saying, yeah. tell you we what, this is a four horse race it. this year, yeah. and they've just fallen off straight away. Very quickly, before we hear from David De Gea, would you have enjoyed playing for Manchester United in your role today? No, you can't. You can't. Like, we were at Old Trafford for the City game the other day. Mm. And all of a sudden, it's just exactly the same. They leave Cristiano Ronaldo up front on his own. And I, that's almost abuse. Having someone that good in your team <laughs> and then playing everyone defensively and just saying, oh, that's all right, we'll just hope that he nicks a goal. He'll end, up being a, he'll end up being average. If you just keep leaving him on or all these good players, just, yeah, just have two of them playing and everyone else is just going to defend. They'll start putting in perfor bad performance because they've got no one to pass to, got no options. You're chipping the ball from 50 yards away when they need little pass. You know, they need the whole team to come up and help them. It's almost abusing the good players that they've got. And that's the last thing you need to do. If anything, expose your rubbish. 
Go and have the ball. Go and play all your best players. Get Pogba. Find ways of getting world-class players into your team. Get Pogba. Get Fernandes. Get Ronaldo. Get them all on the pitch as, as best as you can. And OK, if you let a few goals in, because Bailly's not great or not wan or whoever it might be, they're fine, you can replace them. But at the minute, all they do is, because they're nervous and scared, I find all they do is just bulk up their defensive back line with loads more sitting midfielders, loads of defenders, and then almost abuse their great players up front, leaving half of them on the bench and one or two to play. <laughs> they've got no chance. Is, is that because they're not good enough, Michael, though, because they're not coached well enough? You, you the players? Pl- what yeah, do you think? players playing today. You're here to answer the questions. What do you think? I think it's a bit of both, Steve. Do you? Yeah, because I, I think them three midfield players today. Your midfield player, your role as a midfield player is to make your team play football. Did them three, are they good enough to make your team play good football? Nah, not them three, no. no. Not as a balance, no. It's too far the other way. Sometimes we talk about balance and you think, you're think thinking about offensive players. Oh, they can't play together, them, them three players. But... It, today, it's the other way round. That, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. That team is Man United. The Man United midfield cannot get, go, go and progress playing them three in midfield. That's what no I'm saying. It's, it's everything short-term thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Everything short-term at the minute. It's trying to get a point at Chelsea. Do you know what? Forget Chelsea. Let's get beat 3-0. But I think you can go and get better in the future by just like... Oh, this, by learning something, it, you mean? Yeah, this is, this is rubbish today. I'm not at, it's a point and everyone's like, oh, well done. But it's... Where have they progressed at all? That, we've all agreed, this is never, ever, ever going to be the right players or that system or anything. They're never going to use that. That's just for a one-off mm. today. It's, it's a point, but they're not getting better doing that. I think they should just go and play their best. Go the, go the other way. But play all your best players. Chelsea don't get a kick of the ball to until the end of the season, and then it could change again if, if a different manager... Comes in. We'll have some form of identity. But this is the way we're going to play in the future. To be honest, at the minute, they're just, it's chops and changes every that's, week. Yeah, that's, that's, that's modern day football. That's not just Manchester United. So many teams now chop your manager and then no one comes in. Players, have, they, get, they get used to adjusting to them. Then another one comes in. It's not just Manchester United. So that's the modern day way that it is. Whether I agree with it, probably don't. But uh, what we're trying to say is there's a, you know, it was a good point for Manchester United. The way they played, the team they set out, they did a job. The two fullbacks, if they're playing Arsenal in midweek. Are those two fullbacks, if they play again, they stayed at home all day long today and they were told to stay at home. Are they now going to go, we go expansive, you push up. Foot. Now, those two centre backs are going to look how Lindenoff started the game. He was dreadful. He nearly gave two goals away. Are you going to let them be exposed against Arsenal, even, you know, against Arsenal, Aubameyang, whoever, like is it? You, so there's a real slight price. All right, so there's, there's got to be stepping stones to where they're going to go. But that isn't, for me, a stepping stone. That's a one-off. We didn't get beat at Chelsea against a very good side. But now it's like draw a line under that. Where do we go from here? Because Michael's right, those Ronaldos and Cavani when he's fit again, and those young boys, they want the ball. They've gone to Man United to be successful, but they've gone also to, to be excited and play the way they love to play. And they're going to be stifled if, if that's the way they go every game. If you go the other way and play all these great players, the opposition won't hardly get the ball. You know, you can, you can turn on, is that be, be aggressive? Mm. And that's, you know, they'll have 75% of the ball then. But well, that's minute, Paul's question. Have they got the players? Well, they might have. The these great yeah. players, so-called great players, you talk, they played against Liverpool. Yeah, but two or three of the great players played. You know, they're not playing. They're not getting all the best players on the, the pitch. That, that type of performance you will get today from this group of players because they're not quite at the quality. Yeah. You'll see them next week against these teams, and they'll be brave. They'll be mm. showboating. They'll be playing nice football. But when it comes down to the proper games, I just don't think they're quite good enough. Hence why they play like they did Hence today. Why they have to go against these teams and, and play like that. And yeah, I know what you're I saying, Michael. Sure but they, if they, but they've lost you the think, you think, about the, think about the Liverpool go. What yeah. Michael's saying, they'll go and they'll play. They'll be expansive. They got beat five 0 They can't afford to keep doing. They can't afford to do that against teams like this. They've got to find a way. And which is what we did. But we did it, by the way. We, at times, we were brilliant and and great against all these teams winning 5 0 But when, like I said before, you've got to respect these teams. You've got to respect Chelsea. Chelsea are flying. We wouldn't have gone there and be open of throwing people in the box all the time. Because you, you're going to get hammered. You've got to, you've got to do what you've, what you've got in front of you. You've got to deal with that. And this, this team can't go toe-to-toe with Chelsea at the minute. 
They can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe no. in Manchester City. They can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe to Liverpool. When they tried to do that, they tried to get to Liverpool, absolutely obliterated. But how do you get back to being a Manchester United of old then? They need a coach and better players. Because that's just a one-off. Mm. Today's just a one-off. You know, you can't, that's, that's not improving Manchester United as a team. It's getting them a point, but it's, mm. it's, it's not long-term thinking. No, I don't think it is long-term thinking. I, I agree with that, but the position, confidence is... Yeah. The lows are snakes belly at the minute, aren't they? I keep saying they've, they've been battered for weeks and mm -hmm. just going to a place like that today, it didn't matter how they did it. And it, it's all fine lines, isn't it? You think about it, as, as Glenn said, Hudson Odoi scores that first goal, they're all over the place again. It could have been another Manchester City, it could have been another Liverpool. I mean, they're, they're, sorry, Paul, there's the caption. Look, the guys have put the caption up for us. There's only one green W on there. By the way, only Newcastle. Games. Only Newcastle have got a worse record in yeah. the state game. So, you know, you, that, that, that is proof why today Michael Carrick, whoever picked the team, got it right to get a point. Because they were, they were, for me, they were outboxed, but they didn't get knocked out. Mm. But that's why, because of that. They've lost, they've drawn, they've lost. You can see it there. So it's not going to go, it's not going to turn from that list we're seeing now to the next eight games, win, 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 win. Yeah. It might do. And Paul's point is the damage. You talked about that last season when they lost heavily at home to Tottenham, didn't you? The way they changed after that. It killed, it killed them for it weeks. Done. It killed them for weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, confidence just, just, just totally goes. And <laughs> that, that, that's why I question the quality. Of, you look at them results, Aston Villa, Everton, Leicester. They're, they're not even the, the top class teams. Mm -hmm. That's why I question if the quality is there. We keep saying it. I, I've said it myself at the start. I, said, I think we've got a team to challenge to go for the mm. Premier League and they've, they've yet to prove it to me. There's, there's three or four players that yet are winners. Yeah. Like I said, Varane, De Gea's won the league, Cristiano, Pogba, winners. The rest of them have still got to prove it and they but, almost play like they are winners and they've won nothing yet. It's interesting because those four you've mentioned all didn't play today. Your Pogba's, your Varane's, you, you know, those, they're, they're top quality Cavani. You know, Ronaldo didn't start. So that was that team that they put out today, and they've got a point. So it's a, it is a stepping stone. As a manager, you're looking at it and go, right, but where do we go now? How do we take this forward? That The next eight games, we win six of them games, and we draw one and might lose one. And that's where United have got to be over the next period of time with a new manager, or if Michael stays there, whoever's involved in that group of players. And you would think if they get them them talented players back, those winners back, that they can and they are capable of getting that sort of run together. And they can play more expansive and they can, but they've got to be coached. They've got to be organised in doing it. And, that uh, and it hasn't been that way. That will give them confidence today. It has to. Going to yeah. Charles, oh, OK, they didn't yeah. play great. They weren't brilliant. But you saw, I think you got a feeling at the end of the game there. I think Michael was happy with it. I think the rest of the players were happy with it. Going to the fans, McTominay throwing his shirt in. He wasn't great. I probably wouldn't watch the game again if I was them. But at the end of the day, they've gone to a, a Chelsea team, top of the league, and got a point. Mm. Now, that can breed confidence now coming into the weeks ahead.